G'day, Ben here from DigiTLC. Today, we're going to be talking about social media tools. And these are the things that are going to make your life a heck of a lot easier when it comes to creating and posting engaging content online. So I'm actually going to share my screen today. So let me just get that up and running uh, so I can share with you my favorite tools. There we go. So one of the things when it comes to social media is uh, it can be extremely time consuming if you're not sure, you know, how to go about creating your content and some, uh, not just creating the actual content itself, but also knowing what content to create. And there's a heap of different tools that you can use. Some of these are free. Some of them are paid. Um, you know, most of the free ones will be very limited or they'll put watermarks on what it is that you do. So you just got to keep that in mind. If you want to be professional, I would suggest paying for some of these things. They're not very expensive and they'll make your life a whole bunch easier. So the first one that I've got up here on the screen is Canva. You're probably familiar with Canva. Most people are. Uh, it's a really good tool for creating graphics. As time has gone on, Canva has got better and better and better. You can create video in there. There's stock photos. There's elements. There's icons. There's templates. Boy, oh boy, I can't even imagine you know, where. I, I probably don't know everything that is in there. So um, as well as being able to upload your own images. Now, the reason why I love Canva is because it creates a simple way or gives you a simple way for you to, to do what can be quite complicated. So, you know, when it comes to creating uh, different layers on an image where you might put your logo on, you might have different elements and combining them all into one. Before Canva, really, you needed to know how to use Photoshop uh, or you could get away with a really dodgy Word document, you know. So Canva has really changed the way people create their graphics. The other thing is it's easy once you've created one, you can actually resize them for different platforms. A little bit of mucking and tweaking around to get it right, but you can easily go in and do that. So Canva is probably the first tool that I would recommend if you're looking at doing social media. Now, Canva has a stack of images in there, but one of the things that you will struggle with sometimes is where do you find good photos to use for your social media posts. So the second one I'm going to show you is Pixabay. Now Pixabay is a, uh, a website that essentially has a whole bunch of uh, creative people upload their images and allow you to use them for free. Um, now when I say that there's some restrictions about how you can do that. You've usually got to give them a mention uh, some way, or give them credit for the image. Um, and there's also the opportunity for you to pay for images, but you can very quickly do a search based on what your business is. So, for example, you know, if you're a if you're a dentistry practice and you want images, you know, to post for your dentistry social media, you can see just how many there are here, and they're all free. Uh, so you just create an account, you can download these. You can see that um, you know they make their money. I would say from these iStock photos, which are you know, sponsored images in every search that you do. And if you do click on one of these, you'll go through to iStock, which is a site where you have to pay for your photos. Uh, but as you can see, there's lots and lots of free ones here uh, and it allows you to quickly find things. So, you know, maybe you're in, I don't know, you're a mechanic. You just you just type in the keyword and, uh, and you'll find all these amazing images. So a really great tool for you. Uh, and you can download those images, for example. You can upload those into Canva and start using those to create amazing uh, posts in Canva. Um, I'm going to jump into a research tool now because you're probably wondering, well, how do I know what my followers are looking for? And let's use uh, Dentist as, a, um, as an example now. You'll see this is a, a website called answerthepublic.com and it allows you to do a, a keyword search to see what is it that people are actually looking for using search engines, for example, using Google. Uh, and it's easy for you to be able to then quickly come up with content topic ideas. So let's say you're a bit stuck on what blog post to write or what video to make for your YouTube channel or what Facebook Live to do this week, then this is a great way to do it. So let's say you're, a, I don't know, like a family lawyer. If I put in family law, and you can put anything you like in here. So all I've done is it says use one to two words for best results. I've put family law. Um, you can select what country. So I'm in Australia, so I'm going to keep it on Australia and then English and just hit search. Now, what it's going to do is it's going to go and search the internet and it's going to come back to me with what it is that people are looking for around family law. And you can see there's 382 results and you can see that there's all these different content topic ideas 
So questions, pre-propositions, comparisons, um, and then you can see it's in an alphabetical sort of list down the bottom here. And you can uh, download this data. So you can save the data uh, and that way you've got it for yourself as a CSV file or Excel, and that way you can use it. So if you go to the data, um, you can download the data. As you can see on the right here, there's a little download. All right. Um, I really like this visualization. We can go, okay, well, you know, family law or commercial law, that's obviously people, you know, wondering whether they should do law. Um, you know, you can see here, um, you know, as you go down those different questions that you'll see. Let's go back up to the top here. Questions around family law. So, you know, will family law return? Um, it just... You've just got to go through and read. Some of these are actually, you know, never going to be relevant to what you, you know, they're, they're just weird. No one's going to be going to really search it. But certainly gives you an idea of what some of the things people are searching. And family law is probably a very uh, unique niche to search in there as an example. But, you know, it works really well. The only thing with this is you are limited, I think, to three searches per day. So, you know, if you want, for example, a plumber. I've got plumber in there. I don't see it wants me to register now. I've done too many searches today so this is what happens uh, but answer the public.com is a really good tool for you to be able to come up with topics and content ideas to help you when you're creating your social media post um, the next one's called retouch up now this is another really good tool you know showing you canva uh, and showing you pixabay is a great way to get photos and start to make comments of those photos but if you want those photos edited in any particular way let's say you download a photo from pixabay and you want parts of it removed because you're not happy with that or you just want to use for example, you know, let's say you go to Pixabay, you do a search, and what you want is you just, you know, this image here, for example, you just want the red car, you don't want all these things around it. You can then go to this retouch up and you pay a fixed fee and um, you can get them to touch it up for you. And I think it's about $2.50 for something very basic, $5 for something. Yeah, see, so it's com complete retouch, $2.50, complete plus, and then special services. So the most you'll pay is $10 an image. Um, and you can see they can change the color of an item, background replacements, add or remove people, remove building cars, lens flare, hotspots, take off 10 years, 20 pounds, et cetera, whatever you want. Um, so really what this does is this recruits a team of people that are specialists in Photoshop to take your photo and fix it the way that you want it. Uh, so a very, very easy way to do that. So, you know, we all know as, as business people, our time is not best spent trying to learn another piece of software. If you want a particular image to be manipulated in a way for your marketing, then retouchup.com is a really easy way to do it. I think they get back, to, they get it done in 24 hours from memory. Um, and you can see here, uh, clipping path. So that's just removed the background. Standard color correction, very cheap. So that's probably for people that are doing things like, you know, weddings, et cetera, for bulk. Um, they also have video editing services. So they've got a whole bunch of things that you can do. But I, I think for the main thing is if you're creating images for social media, you might just want to make some changes, remove something, add something, compile something together. Um, the clipping path is when you see the cutouts. So a clipping path is typically a, a cutout image. So that there is a clipping path around that car, for example, and each of those objects have, have been clipped around. And so it enables you to do that for you know just a few dollars, it saves you having to do it yourself. So retouchup.com is that next one. Um, the next one I've got for you is Unfold. Unfold is an app um, that I actually uh, have not used myself. I've recommended it to a couple of people and they absolutely love it. It makes it really easy to create Instagram stories. Uh, and so it's one of the apps that I think is sort of emerging. It's I think it's owned by um, uh, Squarespace, which is a website hosting company. So they're obviously going to be slowly unveiling this, I think, to more and more people but it allows you to quickly create really good instagram stories and there's a whole bunch of graphics and stuff in there there's a, a stack of templates so you can use these templates to quickly make your images look different so for example you can see film templates borders etc uh, ripped pages you know all of the effects that are very difficult to do uh, if you're going to try and do them yourself or very costly and this just does it for you um, and like most things, there's a free and then there's a pro version, which is pretty normal. Um, another good one, which I love for uh, research, BuzzSumo. Uh, find the content that performs the best. So in here, once again, you can put some, some sort of a keyword in there and you might just put something in there that's nice and simple. Let's put in, uh, let's put in uh, photographer, photography. Let's put in photography, find content. And what BuzzSumo does, 
is it searches the internet and finds some of the best content that's already been created. And you know, you can see here that it's ranking, it's giving you, you know, how much Facebook engagement has this had, how many Twitter shares, how many Pinterest shares, engagement in Reddit, which is like a, a, a blogging community, number of links to that that um, thing, the ever screen score. So there's a score of how you know long it will go, and then total engagement. So it just gives you a real good understanding of other people's content and how it is performing. And this gives you, you don't want to be copying these people, but it just gives you some idea of the things that are sort of trending right now in the internet around your topic. So you're able to have a look and see, um, you know, what, and you can see I've got the last six months all countries. You can then go through and filter by your country. So let's just put Australia in there and apply that. And let's just see what happens. So last six months, you can sort of see what's been trending. Um, some of it's going to be topical, like Robert Erning, Irwin announces a new photography book about Australia ahead of Steve Irwin Day. Um, so for those in Australia, you understand, you know, he was uh, pretty famous, Steve Irwin. So you might be able to leverage off of that for your content. So if you've got something to do with photography and you know that Robert Irwin is announcing a new photography book about Australia, then you could use that as some topical topic on your Facebook Live, maybe a podcast, uh, maybe some Facebook posts, maybe an email marketing piece out to your database, uh, you know, and it allows you to go through. You can have a look at the actual content itself as well by clicking on it. Uh, it's just loading up. So this is the actual content on the news site. There's a video, but it sort of gives you a bit of, you know, the ability to even link to this in your own blog post and use it for yourself. So it's a great tool from that perspective. So that's BuzzSumo. Uh, BuzzSumo is a really, you know, easy tool to use. Once again, it's free. And then uh, you can, you know, once you pay, you get more um, analytics with it as well. So I'm just showing you all the free, the way it works for free. Um, and the final one that I've got for you is Sendable. Now, Sendable is a tool that we use to, uh, manage all of our social media posting, gives us reporting on what's working and what's not. Um, you may have already seen that inside of Facebook, for example, there is a scheduling tool. Um, this is what this is. Sendable is a tool that does scheduling and a whole bunch more. So if you want to uh, manage all of your social media, if you want your social media to be, uh, you know, to be, you want to be able to load it all up at the beginning of the month and just let it take care of itself, then this is a great tool for you. Uh, and I'm a big fan of anything that automates the whole process. And I think this tool here is probably the uh, the one that's the one that we pick. We personally use it. So all of our clients that we work with are loaded up using Sendable. Uh, they have a login and they're able to go in and schedule their own content as well. Uh, so we have, a, we have a white labeled version, which is pretty common with this type of thing. Uh, but you're free to go and check out Sendable for, you, for yourself. Uh, there is a free trial. If you do start up on it, uh, just send them an email. Let them know I sent you. <laughs> I don't get any commissions, by the way just giving you um, what we think is really good. So they do a 14-day free trial. Uh, you will need to uh, pay after that. Um, uh, but you don't need to put your credit card in to do your free trial. And then you can cancel at any time, I think, once you sign up so they don't have minimum contracts like a lot of these other tools have. But that'll give you a great start when it comes to social media marketing. So there you go. There's my top, I think I went through seven there, seven social media tools, everything from creating your content to researching uh, you know, where to post your content to making your life a bit easier with creating stories on Instagram, which are working really well right now, um, and just some things that you can do. Um, one of the things that we did this year, well, at the beginning of this year, I wrote a complete guide on marketing on Facebook. It was had uh, 17 different ways you could generate leads and sales on Facebook. It has been downloaded hundreds and hundreds of times, uh, you know, since we released it. And I want to give you the opportunity to grab a copy before 2022 is over. Um, it will get revised for 2023. Uh, there won't be a lot of changes. So what's in there right now is still working really, really well. So it's got 17 ways for you to generate leads and sales on Facebook. Uh, it also has a bonus three-step process for creating Facebook ads or Facebook posts that work. They get engagement, they get people you know, opting in, get people buying from you, booking appointments, whatever it is you need. So the three-step process that I use is also in that guide as a bit of a bonus for you. So 17 different ways you can market on Facebook. Some are free, some are paid, and then the three-step process to help you to be able to create amazing posts and ads. So down in the description or the link down, down below in the comments, you will find a link to go and download that guide for yourself. If it is 2023 when you're watching this video, 
we'll still have a link down there. We'll just update the guide for 2023 and you'll get the latest information as soon as we have it created. Up until then, whatever you download is going to work just gangbusters for you. All right. Once again, thanks for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed this week's video and you get a lot out of uh, these different tools. Hopefully they help you as much as they've helped me and my clients to get great results when it comes to their social media marketing. Until next week, I hope you generate lots of leads online. See ya.